Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my another video. And in this video, we are going to learn about and talk about sentence. And this is also a very important thing in our English grammar. So, in this today's video, we are going to learn what is sentence and the types of sentences. So, let's get started. We can see here uh, the board. I think you all can see it clearly. So let's learn about sentence. A group of words which contains at least a subject and a verb and complete sense by itself. So let's read it again. A group of words which contains at least a subject. That means he, she, it, they, I, we, our and uh, Rahim, Karim. Many uh, subjects we know persons. The persons will have learned that are subjects. A verb and complete sense by itself. So verb, which is verb, the auxiliary verb and the model auxiliary verb. And it can also be the verb like eat and sleep and many other things like talk, walk, uh, run, many other things that can be said here like as verb. So I think you all have understand what is sentence. The sentence is a group of word which contains at least a subject and a verb and complete sense by itself. That means what you want to understand the other person that will understand it by sentence. So I think you all have understand what is sentence. So now let's move to the types of sentence. So do you know how many types of sentence? Yes, we all know the five types of sentence and their names. So let's repeat again. Assertive, interrogative, uh, imperative, optative and last one is exclamatory. So again I am saying this. Assertive, interrogative, imperative and optative and last one is exclamatory. So I think you all have understand that. So let's learn some examples of assertive like we can say he is ribu that means a boy's name is ribu and that indicates ribu means by he and you can also see here all uh, another example of assertive sentence rima is a girl that means rima a person and she is a girl that means that indicates her gender so, and the next one is interrogative sentence. We also know that as question sentence that make questions in this sentence like, is he Ribu? Is he Ribu? The guy, the name of Ribu. This guy's name is Ribu or anything like Rahim, Karim. You can use many, uh, you can use many things. And in our next video, we are going to learn the, um, types of sentences structure and how could uh, we make that we will learn in our next video so then imperative sentence stack uh, example like let me go let me go we can say let me go so let me go let me play and we can say let me sleep let me dance many other things we can use or indicates uh, other ways to say imperative sentence we can also say uh, go there come back, come here, stand up, sit down. That means you are saying to other an instruction. The instruction sentences are imperative sentence. Okay, so I think you all have understand. So what is assertive? He is Ribu. That's a simple sentence we make in, uh, we make all day, night, and we can say, I eat rice. That's also a assertive sentence. And there is, a, there is two examples like, he is Ribu and Rima is a girl. And there the second number is interrogative that indicates question. Okay, at least of this sentence we should use question marks. Okay, is he ribu? There are two types to make this sentence like what that means wh question and auxiliary question. Okay, and there are also another way to make interrogative sentence like auxiliary negative. That means uh, in First of all, we should use the auxiliary and then we should use negative. But that was in our transformation. That is in our transformation, but there is not value of it. So now imperative sentence. 
So what is imperative sentence? We have learned the instruction words like let me go, let me play, call back me and we can say come back, come here, go away and we can also say shut down, uh, put it up. So and next one is optative. Optative. We all say this all optative sentence in our life. Like we can say may Allah bless you. May you live long. That means you is wishing the person a very good thing. That called optative. In future, you is, you is wishing the person very good time to come. That means optative person. That means what? Praise. Uh, the person the person you is praying that calls optative sentence. Like may Allah bless you. May, uh, may you live long. That many things you can use here. And next one is exclamatory sentence. And there are two types to make that exclamatory sentence. What a nice smell. What a nice smell. And there uh, we should use the exclamatory uh, mark uh, after the sentence. Because this is exclamatory. And if you don't use here the exclamatory, uh, exclamatory mark, that will be like optative. Because optative and exclamatory are also same. But in optative, we should use uh, full stop mark and in exclamatory we should use what exclamatory mark so i think you all have understand and next one is how nice the dress is that means how nice the dress is the girl have word right and we can also say hurrah alas the words of exclamatory okay we all know that hurrah alas and brave joyful and many other words we have like that so let's repeat it again what have we learned in our today's class we have learned what is sentence and what is sentence a group of words which uh, contains at least a subject and a verb to come and complete sense by itself that means sentence can complete sense by itself only sentence can uh, complete a sense so i hope you have understand the sentence and then we have learned types of sentences like assertive interrogative imperative optative and uh, the last one is exclamatory so assertive he is ribu interrogative is he ribu or what is his name imperative let me go let me check and go to sleep Optative, many, may Allah bless you, etc. We can use like, may you, lo uh, may you long live. Then exclamatory is, what a nice smell and how nice the uh, dress is. So etc, etc, you can use in these examples. And I hope you all have understand. So thank you so much for being with me for so long. And See you all in my next time. So be safe and be cool all the time because the pandemic situation is very dangerous. That means COVID-19 is uh, costing more people dying. So I think you will be safe and may Allah bless you. So see you later in my next time. Assalamu alaikum. Allah Hafiz.